Turning now to campaign 2021 and more fallout from the massive mistake made by the city's board of elections in tabulating ranked choice voting results. Tonight, Eric Adams wants a judge to oversee the vote count and preserve the integrity of the ballots. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer live in the newsroom now with the latest. Marsha, unbelievable mess. Well, Maurice and Jessica, the New York City Board of Elections is trying to save face after a mistake that one political pundit called a train wreck. A spokeswoman saying the agency is planning to release a new set of numbers in just a few minutes. Maybe the second time's the charm. The problem plague Board of Elections says it's about to release a new set of preliminary ranked choice voting numbers. The agency insisting the figures are based on the 800,000 votes cast on Election Day and during early voting and absolutely do not include 135,000 test ballots originally added in with the actual ballots. But Eric Adams is taking no chances. He filed suit asking a judge to oversee the tabulation, quote, to ensure a fair and transparent election process. Adams also wants the ballots counted by hand. Catherine Garcia telling me her campaign will We'll file a similar suit. Look, it's very likely that we will go ahead and make sure that we are protecting all the votes and protecting the canvassing because we want to ensure at the end of the day that every vote gets counted. The chaos caused by the latest misstep by the historically inept agency had Councilman Danique Miller calling for a November referendum, giving voters the right to decide whether ranked choice voting and the Board of Elections' ability to handle such a complex system is really right for New York City. So you want them to have an opportunity to dump ranked choice voting? Uh, I, yes, I, I want them to have an opportunity. We want to do it now while it's fresh in people's mind and not in 2022 or other times where, you know, we have short memories. Supporters of ranked choice voting argue that the election chaos was caused by human error, not the new voting system. But this is just the latest in a series of mistakes by the problem-plagued agency. During the 2020 presidential contest, the board disqualified 80,000 ballots because officials were not prepared to handle the deluge of mail-in votes during the pandemic. Voters in the 2018 midterm elections had to wait hours to cast ballots because high humidity jammed the machines. Baruch College Dean David Birdsell says it may be hard for the board to recover its credibility. A total train wreck, a mind-boggling error that defies explanation. Well, there are still more than 131,000 absentee ballots that have to be counted and added to the ranked choice voting run before we know the winner of the Democratic mayoral primary. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins called the Board of Elections a, quote, national embarrassment and vowed to pass reform legislation. And once we get those new numbers, we'll bring them to you as soon as possible. Live in the newsroom, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marsha, thank you.